Hello everyone! Welcome to our video on Wix plugins, your gateway to easily extending Wix business solutions. I'm Dor, a product manager on the editor platform team at Wix. This video will discuss two plugin types, editor and dashboard plugins. I will guide you through the editor plugins and my colleague Tal will later guide you through the dashboard plugins. So let's get started. Before we will start building a site plugin, let's go over the documentation and learn about the terminology of plugins. I'll go to Extensions, Site Extensions, Site Plugins, and here's everything about Site Plugin. The plugin is extending and hosted inside Wix native application, like Wix Stores, Wix Booking, and Wix Events. Let's learn using Wix Events. Wix Event is the hosting application. Inside the hosting application, we have the hosted widget. In this example, this is the events detail page. Here we can see the slots, the header slots and detail slots. So inside each slot, a plugin can be populated and extending the hosting application. The plugin is communicated with the hosting application via an API. You can see here the event plugin API using the property of the event ID. We can use the event ID to call APIs of Wix event. Now, let's go into the dashboard page and see how it's built. I'll create a new extension. I'll search for site plugin. And for this example, I'll just use the self-hosted custom element. Here, I want to extend Wix event and to populate in specific slots. I can choose only header or I can choose also, the details slot. The plugin will try to populate first in the first available slot. In this example, we will try to populate first the headers slot. If the plugin is already occupied by another plugin, we will try to populate the details slot. If all slots are occupied, the user will see a replace modal asking to replace the populated plugin in those slots in the new plugin. Now, let's build a new plugin using Wix blocks. For this, I'll exit this plugin that I opened for an example. I'll hit next. My plugin name for this example will be my plugin. And I'm extending Wix stores. And I want to extend the product page. So I'll just select the first two slots in the product page. And I'll hit create. OK, we can start building now. In this example, I'll just show you how I can use the props, which are the uh, API for Wix stores. And what the plugin will do, it will show if the product itself is digital or physical product. So I'll drag a text. So let's write down product type, and here I will concatenate the answer that I get from the property. We will import products from Wix, Wix stores. And we need to declare the property. So I'll go to API, I'll add a new property, and the property name is the product ID. I say that the display name is the same. I know that the property is the type of string. Here it is. So now when the property will change using the onprops change function, I will get the new property once it's changed. So we have the current product ID. which I'm getting from the new props and the property of product ID. 
So now we have the product ID. Let's understand what is the current product. I'll do a wait from product, get product using the current product ID. And I won't forget to add here async. Now we can know what is the product type. Const product type is the current product. In the location of product and product type. Good. All we have to do is concatenate the returned value into this string. Now we have the product type. So if product type is digital, I'll add it into this element that I can capture using the dollar W. This is a text element. And into text, I'm adding the word digital. Else, it is a physical product. Okay, looks good. Let's choose a site. In the site selector, I'll just select a random site, my site so. And we will add it to the site. Now we are installing the application. Okay. Let's go to the product page. Since in Wix blocks the plugin is not added automatically, this configuration we can add in the application dashboard in the plugin extension itself. I need to add it manually. So I'll go into the plugins. And here in the plugin modal, I can see all the published application in the app market or private applications that I created. I'll look into my plugin that I just created. Here it is and I'll add it to the page. Okay, this product type is physical and indeed the chair is a physical product. To summarize the editor plugin part, we went over the documentation and we continued to build the plugin on Wix blocks. I built a plugin for the product page and I used Stores API to demonstrate a physical versus digital product. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm happy to invite my colleague Tal to explain dashboard plugins for the second part of this video. Thanks, Dol. Hi, everyone. I'm Tal, a product manager from Wix Operating System Platform team, and I'll show you how to use dashboard plugins. Let's get started. This is the Wix dashboard. Imagine you have a new app to manage products and put them on sale. So let's go to the Wix products page over here, and you want to present upcoming sales and also add the products to the sale. Let's explore the different options we have to extend the product list page with your new app. We have two type of extensions in the dashboard. We have the dashboard widget plugin, which we will see up here, and also menu item plugin, which we will see over here. Now let's see how to add a dashboard plugin widget. We're gonna go to Wix CLI and see how we can easily add the new widget. I'm gonna show you a simple command, npm run generate. And here you can choose what you want to do. So we're gonna choose a dashboard plugin right over here. And then 
the slot that we want to extend. So we're talking about the Wix Stores product page, as we just saw. I'm just going to click right over here. I'm going to need the Wix app, the Wix Stores app to be installed. So I'm going to click yes. And now I'm creating my plugin. So plugin folder name, let's do available. Available sales, just like this. And the plugin name, also available sales. Available sales. Perfect. It's generating my plugin. And let's run and see if it works. So again, I'm going to type npm run dev. And let's see our new plugin. You can see over here, this is the plugin I created, available sales. So I'm going to press number two. And we're going to see it in our product page. Amazing. This is the new dashboard plugin. As you can see, this is a generic plugin. Let's see how we can add something over here. So we're going to go back to Wix CLI and we're going to see the plugin that we just created. Here's the plugins available sale. Here you can see the plugin configuration. This is actually the plugin ID, the title, and the extended slot ID. And let's now change what we have from the generic plugin that we got from Wix CLI. So I'm just going to add here code that I wrote before. I would need to save and run it again. So as we did before, npm run dev. And we're going to open our new plugin and see what we got. Number two. Perfect. Now you can see our new dashboard widget plugin with my upcoming sales that I defined my Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Amazing. So now that I created my dashboard plugin widget, let's see how to create a menu item. Let, I want to now add the parrot pillow to one of these sales. So let's see how I can add an item to this menu. We're going back to Wix CLI. Again, we're going to start the same way that we started before. NPM run generate. And now we're going to choose something else. We're going to choose the dashboard menu plugin. And here we have much more options, but we, again, we just need to choose the slot that we want to extend. So we're going to Wix stores. In this case, we need product more actions menu. If you're not sure, you can always go to the documentation over here and read more about it. So we're going to choose product more action menu. Again, Wix store must be installed for this to work. So we're going to put yes. And here I have two options. I can either navigate to a page that I created or open a modal. In this example, I'm going to show you how we are going to open a modal. I'm going to choose my modal. You can also choose a modal from a different app. And let's name this plugin. So I'm going to call it add to sale because this is what actually the action is going to be. And again, name it add to sale. And it's generating my plugin. So let's see what we have here. Up here, we have our menu plugins, add to sale. And here, it's only a configuration because it's actually going to open a modal. So you can see the title, the icon key, which you can change. Just go to Wix design system and see the options that you have. And you can see the modal component ID. So let's see how it looks. Let's run it as we did before, npm run dev. Again, I'm going to choose add to sale. And let's see what we got. Amazing. We have a new menu item plugin right over here. But here you can see that the title that I wrote before is not user friendly. So let's see how we can fix this. I'm going to go back to Wix CLI. And here we have the plugin configuration, the title. And let's just change it. Add to sale over here. Save it. And run it again. 
npm run dev, open our new plugin. And now we can see the new user-friendly name add to sale. Clicking on it, as you probably remember, should open our modal. And this is our modal. Now I can add the parrot pillow to one of these upcoming sales. Now you're probably wondering, how did we get the product name here in our modal? So let's go back and look in the modal code. We actually have the option to add different props from the Wix apps. The slot passes the selected ID to the observed state, and you can use the dashboard SDK to select products from the observed state. You can fetch the product name from Wix Store's products API. So you can see it right over here, the observed state. And if you go scroll down here, you can actually see the product name. You, you can use different props from different Wix apps and add them to your plugins. So let's summarize what we just did. We extended two slots and added a plugin over here in the menu item and one up here in the products page. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed this session and found it helpful. Below, you can find helpful documentation on Wix plugin and other valuable resources. We can't wait to see what you create with plugins.